your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The Grand Bahama Children's Home, the victim of theft and vandalism. Officials at the home said that this morning they were shocked to find that things were not the same as they had left them yesterday. Maintenance Supervisor Dominic Kemp explains. When I arrived to work, uh, morning routine, going to the garden, to water the garden, uh, I realized that uh, some onions, about 30 onions was missing. Some flower pots and stuff, uh, with fl or plants and stuff was, was missing. So as I walk around, I noticed that uh, someone was here last night shopping. Last month, they actually stole the horse and they broke, in, they, they broke a glass to the building, trying to get into the building that is secured, but they uh, tried to get in. And you saw where the window was broken as well, but they tried to get into that. So. Obviously, they are, they're roaming the, the grounds at night. Is asking the surrounding community to be vigilant. Meantime, Executive Director at the home, Sheila Johnson-Smith, says it is very disappointing that persons would target the home. To know that all this work, all the begging for plants, purchasing seeds and all so forth, to know that they have worked so hard, that someone without a heart, a complete low life, would come here and steal from the children's home. And not only that, they're trying to um, break into the buildings that we've been repairing. A window is already broken that's just been put in. You know, it's, it's heartbreaking. I'm praying for them. I'm praying that they don't end up with what they deserve for what they did. And I'm praying that they'll have a change of heart. Homegrown talent is on the rise in the midst of this pandemic. Many Bahamians are using their musical talents to create songs that uplift and inspire. Singing Since a Little Girl, Grand's Bahamian Jade Moya began working on a song titled We Will Rise after Hurricane Dorian but the release was delayed after having some challenges with her voice. The songbird says the song is now released and believes that this is perfect timing. Rumiko Knowles has more. Working professionally in the music industry for about a year with a degree in musical theater, Bohemian artist Jade Moyo describes her sound as angelic and her style as versatile. She says the song titled We Will Rise was written after the monster storm Dorian devastated the Northern Bahamas. You know, as a Bahamian living abroad, I was seeing all of the footage and hearing all the voice notes of just the destruction that came with Hurricane Dorian. And my heart was just really, really heavy. And, you know, people were organizing donations and things like that and I just you know was trying to figure out what could I do to uplift the Bahamian people. She says that music has been an inspiration adding that her biggest aspiration is to create songs that inspire others. You know that's also the hope for this song when I put it out and when I completed it you know I felt very comfortable about it and I felt that it, it, it inspired me and it touched me and it touched the people that were able to work on the song. And so at the end of the day, I just needed one person to be inspired by it. And, and you know, I've got such an outpouring of support and love and, and the comments and pe the things that people have been saying about the song it just makes me feel like my work has been done, you know. Being raised in a musical family, the apple did not fall far from the tree. Moya believes as an artist, you should never stop growing or evolving. I think as artists, we kind of sometimes try to find our specific sound and that's great. And, you know, trying to find what works for you is always good, but you can never stop learning and never stop growing. And I think in this time, it's so important that we take the, the initiative to continue to develop our skills, you know, um, one of the things that I've been trying to work on in this season is, the, is you know, developing the discipline because, you know, a lot of times when we're 
going about our daily lives, we, we say that we don't have time. Her new single, We Will Rise, can be found on all musical platforms and streaming services. You can contact the songbird on Facebook at Jade Moya Barnett or on Instagram at underscore Jade Moya. From Eco Knowles, ZNS Network News. Jemani Roka. I am 12 years old and I attend the illustrious Grace Christian Academy where I serve as head girl. Psalms chapter 46 verses 1 through 3 states, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in a time of trouble. To all the healthcare professionals and those on the front line here in the Bahamas and around the world, I would like to say Thank you. We appreciate you. And don't lose hope. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the healthcare workers and persons in the front line for everything that they have done for us during COVID-19. And remember, stay safe. Hi, my name is Angel. I am 11 years old and also the Grace Christian Academy 6th grade. I want to thank the Prime Minister, Minister of Health, the healthcare workers, and all of the frontline workers throughout the Bahamas for helping to protect us during this COVID-19 pandemic. May God bless you. Bombers tonight, the Northern Edition. Don't go away.